Hi there, it's Wendy Hernandez with Command the Courtroom. And in this week's video, I wanna talk with you about a topic that isn't necessarily a legal topic, but I think is a topic that could very well help you as you move through your case in the family law courtroom. So I'm gonna talk about it. Over the last couple of months, I have been dealing with some pretty heavy duty cases and I've been actually having to take these cases to trial. And I say the cases are heavy duty because they involve situations where there's domestic violence, where there has been substance abuse, where there has been mental health issues, all in the same case. And in many cases, it's not unusual to have one of the issues. It's rare to have all of them at once. Um, and not only have I been dealing with those issues in these cases, but I'm dealing with parties who are very high conflict with each other. I am dealing with parties in some situations who are making demands that are really unreasonable or who have expectations that are unreasonable. And what's ended up happening is a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting between the parties, a lot of arguing between the attorneys, um, lots of motions being filed, lots of money being spent, lots of hearings in front of the court, and lots of stress. And as a result, you know, you go to court, you roll the dice like you're going to Vegas, and you just don't know what is going to happen. So I just finished the trials in these two situations that I'm talking about, and we're waiting for the judge's ruling. Um, and I have to say, I'm pretty exhausted. Um, last week, I finished the second of these trials. It was on Thursday that I finished it. Today is Monday, and I don't feel like I'm recovered because I have been going through months of a high level of stress. So, you know, what I want to say is I understand what you're going through. I'm not going through it in that they're not my kids. It's not my life, but I am there experiencing the stress with you. And in going through this, you know, I really feel like I've gotten off center from who I am and where I am. And I can see how it might be easy for you to get off track from who you really are in the midst of all of this arguing and fighting and high drama. So what I want to say is, can you check in with yourself for a minute and remember who you are? Because it's really easy to forget. And remember of what those things are that make you who you are. What are the things that are important to you and get back to them if you've gotten off track. Because those things that are important in your life are really the things that are gonna help you make it through this experience. In the last couple of months, I have stopped working out. I haven't been getting any sleep. I've been eating like just junk all the time. Haven't been seeing my friends. I haven't been present for my own daughter. You know, and just overall, I'm not feeling like myself. I feel highly emotional right now. I feel exhausted. I feel like I have a lot of toxic stuff going on in my body, in my heart, and in my mind. And it just it feels terrible. Um, but, you know, I, I'm still putting on the face. I'm putting on the lipstick and I'm, I'm going out there and I'm fighting the good fight but it's really important to take care of you, your body, your mind, and your spirit through this experience. Um, the experience will be over soon enough, and maybe this is just one battle, um, and maybe you'll end up in court again, but you wanna be sure that you're there for your kids. So take care of yourself and get back to what really makes a difference in your life and what matters, and just check in every so often. And, and don't get so far off balance that it's too late. Um, lately, I've heard too many stories about people who are just, you know, they, they have a heart attack or they get some sort of health situation because they've been going through a prolonged period of stress or anxiety. If you need help, get the help that you need. Reach out. Reach out to the people who have, um, the, who have those things to offer you, whether it's a counselor, whether it's a friend, whether it's a minister or a priest, um, or whether it's somebody like me. But just take care of yourself through this. Um, it's hard. I get it. It's hard on me as an attorney, and it's not my life. So just a little bit of real-world advice that's not necessarily legal, but is very important in your case. 
So until next week, remember to like us on Facebook if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the Command the Courtroom uh, channel on YouTube. Keep on trucking and remember to command the courtroom.